Hi, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights and aloha to Pacific Westerners uh, concerned about uh, developments uh, for the tropics here in Hawaii. We're looking at the Pacific first. We'll cover the Atlantic secondly. We have an area of disturbed weather that's kind of snuck out. This, uh, by the way, is not anything of any great uh, circumstances, at least at the moment. However, about 500 miles south-southwest of uh, Oahu, uh, an area of disturbed weather now. Um, Systems that track south of the Hawaiian Islands are a little bit more important than the ones that track north of the Hawaiian Islands. They get turned out to sea. Very rarely, if ever, do they ever come back into the Hawaiian Islands. However, think about Hurricane Aniki. Systems that move south of the Hawaiian Islands can make that sharp right turn and recurve, getting caught with the uh, jet stream westerlies and uh, that recurvature. However, nothing is uh, forecast with this. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, developed... Uh, Back over here a few days ago and um, a couple days ago. And it looks like this is uh, really not a big deal. It's about uh, 550 miles southwest of uh, Honolulu currently. But the one to watch and everybody's concerned about now is Madeline. And then we have also Lester just behind Madeline. Now, early this morning, Hawaiian time, uh, Madeline was about uh, a little less than 500 miles due east of Hilo, Hawaii. And Madeline is definitely taking a track that could bring it not too far from the uh, south coast of Hawaii, the Big Island, and then continuing kind of on a sort of a west-southwest trajectory here. So this cone here is associated with Madeline. We have another system, of course, Lester is behind that, and that looks like it's going to go kind of north of Hawaii. I don't think it's going to be as much of a problem. Madeline will have to watch. Uh, this is the 48-hour um, position, so a couple days from now, conditions could get a little bit interesting, and uh, it's one of these systems that uh, in the Hawaiian Islands not frequently do a whole lot, but then you get the Aniki-type storms, which is a Category 5 that uh, crossed Kauai. Now, as I mentioned, there's another system here, and this is Lester. Lester's a pretty good-sized system. And uh, it is forecast here. Uh, it's got a nice looking eye on it. And you can see its uh, forecast track is about 48 hours uh, to be still quite a ways from, uh, from Madeline. And then uh, it takes a track here. This is 96 hours out. So northeast of the Hawaiian Islands, I would not have as much worry. Anything passing near or to the south, I would worry a little bit more about. And that would be Hurricane Madeline. One of the other things here you can see is that the tropics are fairly active with a lot of uh, systems coming off of western Mexico and just a whole lot of business going on here. This is definitely the proving grounds for hurricanes. Even though we're in a La Nina now, this uh, condition here is uh, really kicking. Alrighty, now in the Atlantic, uh, this is Invest 99L, which is uh, now formed a tropical depression number 9. And it could be a named tropical storm and uh, work across the Florida Peninsula. Let's take a look at the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. And you can see that it's, uh, it's had a pretty good history here as an Invest uh, 99L. A lot of concerns, thinking we might see something go up the eastern seaboard or into the Gulf of Mexico, affect anywhere from Houston east to the Panhandle of Florida. It looks like conditions are going to, uh, there's some pretty good shear taking place from the uh, southwest to northeast. And uh, this would indicate that conditions are definitely going to take a track uh, to the north and east while crossing Florida once again. It's produced a lot of heavy rain across areas of uh, Cuba, the Florida Straits, and into southern Florida. And then we have a tropical depression number eight. This is still trying to get its act together, and uh, it's off the coast of Cape Hatteras, uh, not too far from the Outer Banks, and it looks like uh, precipitation's actually been... Uh, just about in the vicinity of the Outer Banks here. Um, this would be uh, Frisco, Buxton, and a little bit cool there. They're getting some precipitation, looks like. and uh, But most of the stuff is over the Gulf Stream, as it usually is, where all the heavier thunderstorm activity is. But the most beautiful system we got going is sitting out in the open Atlantic. It is one beautiful system. It has a gigantic eye. And this is Hurricane Gaston. Gaston, Gaston, and uh, it has a magnificent eyeball. So just for kicks, we're going to uh, measure the uh, 
the distance here. That's uh, almost uh, 40, that's 45 miles right there. Not too shabby. About a 45 mile eye. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.